Shay Hallbrook driving for Larson Motorsports, uh, driving the Jet Dragster at the IHRA Good Vibrations Nitro Jam Southwest Nationals. First of all, Shay, um, why are race names so long? Exactly. So I'm new to drag racing. So all of the, the drag racing tracks across North America that we'll be attending with the International Hot Rod Association, in other, other words, known as IHRA, a little bit easier to say, right? Yeah. Um, I, uh, I'm, I'm learning all these new names to these tracks. So I'm like Southwest International Raceway in Tucson, Arizona. It's tough to say, but you know what? I think the more words they put on the end of it, the more prestigious the track. You'd assume so. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. Or somebody's overcompensating <laughs> for something. But this Friday <laughs> and Saturday, like you said, Southwestern International Raceway. Now, Shay, you and I have something in common. Oh, awesome. What's that? We both have our uh, degrees in communications. Oh, yeah. I, I wouldn't imagine you having a degree yeah. in communication with the job you have. Most people don't <laughs> assume I have a degree at all just talking to me. but <laughs> no. That's that's a whole different story. So, but going from communications to jet dragster, I I must have missed that class. Uh, how did that come about? <laughs> well, I don't think they had the class, but I uh, I grew up a competitive water skier um, with high aspirations, and I had a weird switch of gears, change of gears rather. Uh, I did a NASCAR Richard Petty experience when I was 15 years old. That got me hooked on motorsports, and from there. Um, based off of the, the, the influence that I had and the people that I knew uh, for the past seven years, I've been road racing um, all over the country in a, a professional series called the Pirelli World Challenge. And I met the Larson just over a year ago around this time. And um, Elaine Larson and Chris Larson, the owners of Larson Motorsports, the five-car jet uh, dragster team, which happens to be uh, a pack of all women, watch out, here we come. Nice. Nice. Um, I, I was really, I mean, I've never been around jet cars before, um, and frankly, I didn't know much about drag racing in general, and uh, I was just absolutely floored. I mean, these machines are, are you know, top-notch, um, nothing to mess with. I mean, these are very fast machines. In five seconds, we're, we're doing about 280 down the drag strip, uh, not to mention at night, so... I mean, the whole, the whole tunnel vision, um, you know, you, the f five seconds feels like a nanosecond. Everything's happening so incredibly fast. And not to mention, it's a huge show in the beginning. Smoke and fire. Fans are standing on their feet with their cameras out. It's quite the, it's quite the show. So five seconds, that's a good time. Oh, yeah. We're running about five, you know, give or take, you know, you know anywhere from, um, you know, five, maybe 5.4. I only ask because I was wondering if you or maybe some of the other uh, ladies on the team could go ahead and call my wife and let her know that, you know, five <laughs> seconds, that's, that's good. And she should that's not all it be takes angry. for us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, guys everywhere would appreciate that. But um, so with the uh, Super Bowl, first of all, who were you rooting for this weekend? Uh, you know, I, I am proud to say that I am a Jacksonville Jaguar fan, born in Jacksonville, Florida, raised in Jacksonville, Florida. They were not in the Super Bowl. They have not been in the Super Bowl for a while, but yeah. I have a strong feeling they'll be back potentially next year. Uh, but if I had to root for somebody, I, I consider myself a Patriot. So, gosh darn, I was rooting for the Patriots. There and I'm go. pretty happy that they won. And we, we're Pats fans here on this morning show. And I support Jacksonville and all the fives of their fans, too. Um, <laughs> I, love, I love those guys. Uh, but, no, I, I asked because in the Super Bowl, always debuted their Like a Girl campaign. And, yeah. you know, the, the differences and how boys perceive the phrase like a girl to how young women and girls do. And I figured, who better to ask than the founder of the Steel Ovary Nation herself? Um, <laughs> what, what, what message would you like to get out for Drive Like a Girl? Well, you know, I, my dad and I actually came up with this saying in the beginning of my motorsports career, and that is, fear is a state of mind and will is an action taken. And I think that that can really parlay into just about anybody's life, whether they're going through, you know, medical struggles or, um, you know, a roller coaster in motorsport, um, just about anything you can apply that phrase to. And I think women in general still have this, like, you know, perception of themselves that, you know, that they're not supposed to do certain things or they can't achieve certain things, especially when it comes you know, with regards to being a male-dominated industry. And for me, um, I was blessed. I was raised in a, 
in a really great family. I'm an only child, and I played with the boys. I played with the girls. And based off of my upbringing, I was never under the impression that I couldn't do something because I was a girl or I couldn't be a strong athlete because I was a girl. Um, so I think a lot of it is upbringing. But, I mean, my, my point to get across to people is just just my saying is fear is a state of mind and will is an action taken. So if you want it, you can go get it. That's a good philosophy. Thanks. <laughs> Now, I know you're in the world of jet drag racing now, but when you were in your, your touring car there, those those were longer races, right? Yeah, so the touring car races in World Challenge are 40-minute sprint races. Um, so just like drag racing where when you, when you hit that afterburner, you're going all down the track, it's the same concept. It's just a little bit longer. The biggest difference for me that I found from road racing to drag racing is road racing, you have the – you have the opportunity to make up where you messed up, right? So if you screw a corner up, you can make it up the next corner or the next lap. Right. And drag and jet drag racing, you know, these these engines, let's talk about these cars a little bit. I mean, these engines are spoiling up at 16,000 RPM, okay? These cars are accelerating, out accelerating a space shuttle, okay? Drivers are experiencing nearly like what is it, four times the G-force of gravity when you're accelerating, and when the chutes deploy, it's six to seven Gs. I mean, the drivers are having to overcome quite a lot with regards to the five seconds. So from touring cars to jet cars, they're, I mean, everything you're taught in a touring car, it, the good things are like death sentences in a jet dragster. Um, so there's a lot of things that I'm able to, you know, parlay over like situational awareness and just like track familiarization. And, um, you know, everything is very procedural, you know, just like flying, um, racing in general, as well as pretty procedural, but it's so different than what I'm used to. And I am just loving every second of it in my new, um, Florida Institute of Technology, Larson Motorsports Jet Dragster. Excellent plug. <laughs> I haven't. I've, I've only been practicing that a few times. <laughs> you know, for for someone who's just decked out in sponsorships, you've been pretty well reined in here during this interview, and I got to give you credit for that. Usually, it's I, I'm ringing the cash register bell just every time somebody hits their sponsorship. <laughs> well, good. I'm I'm glad that you're giving me the opportunity to plug as much as I can. <laughs> Absol- anybody else? While we're on the subject, anybody else you want to throw love to? Sure, absolutely. Um, so there's a new company called Kapoya Energy Drink. It's a premium energy drink. It's oh. primarily out of um, South Florida, but they're branching out nationwide. Their uh, their slogan is feel the kick, and what better way to feel the kick than in a jet dragster? And then if everybody's able to come out to Southwestern International Raceway, we're going to be cooking some Bubba Burgers out there. Bubba Burgers is a new partner of ours. Um, best burger, frozen burger that you can get, easy to cook, Um I mean, anybody can cook them. They're pretty simple. (laughs) Tastes great, too. Awesome. Well, Shay, uh, thank you so much for taking the time and and calling in here and driving for Larson Motorsports Jet Dragsters this uh, Friday and Saturday at the Southwest International Raceway for one of the longest names in the history of raceways, the IHRA Good Vibrations Nitro Jam Southwestern Nationals. Heck yeah. Thanks so much for having me on. See you soon. (laughs) All right. Thank you, Shay.